Hello guys, so in this lecture I am going to discuss a Rangikuta method of fourth order. Okay guys, so let us begin with the yes next method that is Rangikuta method. Of we can say that fourth order, isn't it? So we can say that uh, various methods we have discussed for ordinary differential equations. So uh, Runge-Kutta method is more accurate, isn't it? So we can say that Runge-Kutta method is uh, more accurate among all the methods we discussed till now, isn't it? So we'll see, yes, what is Range Kuta method? Isn't it a fourth order? So one by one we'll see uh, what will be the formula and what will be the solution procedure, isn't it? So one by one we'll see, yes, what is the procedure? After that we'll be taking one example. With that example, everything will be clear to you guys, isn't it? So let us consider, let's say, yes, consider we can say that uh, one ordinary differential equation. So, I am writing, let us say, consider the ordinary differential equation. That is, we can say that, let us say that is dy by dx is equals to some function of x and y. Yes, along with that, some boundary or we can say that initial conditions are also given. So, we can say that with initial condition, let us say this is given to you. Let us say at x equals to x naught, the value of y is what? That is y naught, isn't it? That means whatever be the given initially, that will be considered x naught and y naught, isn't it? So, we will see, yes, the value at x equals to x naught. The value of y at x equals to x naught that is yes y naught isn't it we are assuming that the initial values are x naught y naught the next values will be x1 and y1 then x2 and y2 and so on isn't it now our we can say that goal is to find yes value of y at x equals to x1 so at x equals to x1 what will be the y that is the goal so let us consider at x equals to x1, y value is what? That is, let's say that is y1, isn't it? And our aim is to find out this particular value y1 at x equals to x1, isn't it? Also, yes, we can say that you know, already know, yes, what is h? In the previous methods you seen, h is what? That is interval size, interval size, or we can say that width of differencing, width of differencing, isn't it? That is what? That is h, isn't it? Now, yes, uh, four parameters are to be, we can say that uh, we need to find out four parameters that is known as k1, k2, k3 and k4. And finally, we'll find the k, final k, that will be the weighted sum of all k1, k2, k3 and k4. Isn't it? So, how to find the values of uh, parameters like k1, k2, k3, k4? So, some formulas are there in Range Kutta method. So, I am going to discuss one by one. So, we can say that the Range Kutta method yes, of we can say that fourth order is applied as follows so first one we can say that calculate successively k1 k2 k3 and k4 isn't it so how to find these parameters like k1 k2 k3 k k4 so yes i'm going to discuss one by one so the formula for k1 is what that is k1 is h h is what interval size into f of xn comma yn 
Similarly, K2 is what? That is H into F of Xn plus H by 2, comma Yn plus K1 by 2. Next one, K3 is H into F of Xn plus H by 2, comma Yn plus K2 by 2. And K4 is, that is, we can say that H into F of Xn plus H, comma Yn plus K3, isn't it? So these are the four parameters K1, K2, K3, K4 and the formula, corresponding formulas are also written. So in this manner, you can find out all these values K1, K2, K3 and K4, isn't it? Then after finding these one, yes, we can say that next task is, yes, we can say that then compute K and K is 1 by 6 of K1 plus twice of K2. Yes, plus twice of K3 plus K4, isn't it? So here we can say that uh, in this manner we can find out the K. Already you calculated K1, K2, K3, K4. Now with this formula you can find out the K value. What is K? Where we can say that K is weighted mean. Weighted mean of K1, K2, K3 and K4. And finally, we can say that, yes, you know, uh, we can say that, yes, uh, finally, Yn plus 1 is calculated like Yn plus K. Isn't it? I hope this one is clear to everyone. Isn't it? So, these formulas are very, very important and how to apply these formulas in the questions, we'll see one by one. So, guys, remember, yes, already X0 is given to you and Y0 is given to you. Next one at x equals to 1 means x1, x equals to x1, we need to find y1, isn't it? So, already x0 and y0 are given to you. So, in the existing formulas, yes, uh, all the formulas for k1, k2, k3 and k4, yes, uh, let me go to the previous slide, let's say, yes. So, in these formulas, you can see here, if you put the n value equals to 0, then it will be x0, y0 and these are given to you. Isn't it here also x0, y0? Yes, y k1 will be calculated. So, in all these formulas, we can say that for k1, k2, k3, k4, if we put n equals to 0, then we can find out the values k1, k2, k3 and k4. Once uh, we are ready with all these values k1, k2, k3, k4, the next task is what? Yes, we can say that next one is what? Yes, next one is what? Yes, we can find out the k value. Isn't it? Now, here also we can put the n value equals to, yes, 0. So, this becomes what? Y1 and this becomes what? Y0 that is already given to you and k value you can find with this formula, yes or no? So, we can say that in this manner we can find out the Y1. Similarly, if we need to find out the Y2, then again we can calculate these values by putting n equals to 1 and so on, isn't it? So, in the next lecture or we can say that in the next video, yes, I will be taking one example and with that particular example, I will, yes, uh, provide you a solution of a given ordinary differential equation with the Range Kutta method of fourth order, isn't it? I hope this procedure is clear to you guys and the clarity will be more whenever I am going to solve, yes, one example based on Range Kutta method, isn't it? So, okay guys, so thank you so much.